get me all confused. <clears throat> all right. And then certainly by tomorrow. What's today? Saturday? Today's Saturday. So I can take all of Sunday to get that thing organized where we actually make a list of of the quick picks. Does that suppose? I know we don't have a mail call tomorrow, so we don't. We only have to have it done by Monday. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that that work. That that whiteboard got messy. clean my glasses and I still can't see out of one eye. You need to clean your eye. That's you go, right? Okay. Amber from Colorado said she got her data phone and number card today and thank you so much. Those were good. Those thank were you. good. Oh, okay. This is a this is an applicant. I mean, it's a applying for a service dog, an inquiry. And they they <clears throat> whoever it is is the right height and weight. We have dogs that big, so therefore this is a go. You walk dog. I can drive. Full, full time student. Well, and, and, and here we tell them they'll hear within three weeks. Well, we sh they should. Linda's got this pretty well under control. <laughs> right. So this goes over there, and it ends up in the inquiry folder. And then the board of directors look at it, the board of all those people, the bossy bunch. Um, they'll have, have a look at it and decide whether it's... Michelle Bagman is having Texas toast snacks with us. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, with our togetherness party. We have a togetherness party. Can I make a little more Okay. <clears throat> now what am I supposed to do? We only have one box. There's some noises we don't need to make. It was a breath. do this to me on purpose. They just It's sort of an IQ test I go through every night here, trying to figure out how that box was folded up. There's some very creative box foldings. Who's the woman sitting on the bench? That's Tess. That doesn't know me. She's I don't know. Probably a new person. <laughs> Say hi, Tess. Hi, Tess. Hi, Tess. Hi, Tess. <laughs> there isn't a... Oh, there it is. I was, I was very glad you went that direction. I didn't know where I didn't know where you were going with the gas problem. I meant gasoline. Gasoline. Oh, gasoline. oh look! Oh look! We have some prepackaged shit poos. Do you know? I went into Costco with Mariah, who's a young puppy. And I did not have any pickers with me because I didn't have any in my car. So why don't we put these in my car? Would that be a good thing to do? I have thought. everything else in there. You might as well have pickers in there. <laughs> well, you know, I'm wandering around at Costco, and I'm thinking, oh, God, if she ever does anything in here, what are we going to do? And if she's a puppy, I mean, it could happen. If she was good, she didn't do anything. 
No, she didn't do anything, but I, I got ready for it because I, I thought maybe we might need a packet of washcloths, so I took them up, and then when I it was all done, I decided maybe we didn't need them. <laughs> so I put them back. <laughs> I was covering my bases. <laughs> That's right. That's, I thought so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes. The man of the mountain. It's nasty out. He's, he's wet. He's all wet. Get him, everybody. It's not quite so much safe to put St. Taddy's hats on, though. Well, I have one. What happened to my hat? Where is it? Quite St. Patty's Day, but I did get. It's nice, though. It's a one nice. Of the, one of the muffins was a um, was a uh, pistachio muffin. It was green. Did you see that? I didn't see that. Don't you eat it? I didn't eat it. No. Oh. You probably took the top off it. Maybe. Yeah, I didn't take the top off a muffin today. <laughs> well, we are celebrating today. <laughs> what happened? You I ate, ate it. You ate the uh, green muffin. I ate the green muffin. That's all right. You're you're, you're welcome to eat green muffins anytime you want. What's the boxes? <laughs> oh, walking Wanda. Okay. Okay. But it is Pi Day, so we were celebrating Pi Day today. Pi Day. Pi Day. Three thirteen or something. Three point one four. Three one four. Three one four one five. Right. There you and go. If we wait until nine twenty-six and what? fifty-three seconds. We'll match it to the ten. <laughs> so I happy Pi Day. Happy Pi Day. <laughs> Only happens once a hundred years. What? Only happens once a hundred years. Really? So we won't have pie for another hundred years. So we need to enjoy. Well, I mean, we can quit at three point one four. Let's not get too specific here. Okay. I can do that every year. I'm not going to wait another yes. hundred years for a pie. Come on now. That's true. Yeah. We can all do all sorts of things like inverted pies and things. I'm sure we can come up with more numbers. That's a good point. Good point. Okay. Now, what are we going to do with these pies? We're going to eat them in very shortly after we have uh, lamb chops. Lamb chops. <laughs> this is lamb chop day. Thank you, Tess, for the pies. You're welcome. <laughs> you want one in your face? No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay, so now we're on to, now we're on to, uh, whatever we're on to. Question. So huh? see the white Are you? Oh, someone's asking that. Does Carla have only eight teeth, or did she get an extra set for the, this litter? Well, she has four Wonder Bras, so we're assuming she has eight. We're assuming she has eight. They rotate. So are we rotating? Do we really hmm. rotate? I mean, they only have so many, right? Huh? They only have so many. What? But she. Uh oh. Bailey's yakking on a crouton. What's that? Oh, she had a crouton? No, I don't know what she had. She's yakking on something. <laughs> a crouton. Poor baby. I don't know, but she liked it. Oh, she she aspirated she it. She liked it. She just no. choked on it. Now what do we do? They only have eight, don't they? What? Yes. They only have eight, right? Yes. Yeah. So? <laughs> you came just in time. We're talking about teeth. <laughs> 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 Look at the embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it. Chaos. Oh, her my dog. <laughs> No, just track out the same amount. <coughs> track out the same amount that you tracked in. I'll try, but I don't know if that comes back. Oh, that's possible. I'll do it at my house. Do you know yet? Hang on, it's time to get wet again. <laughs> He's doing a good job. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks, Lex. Thank you. Um, yeah, she only has eight, but the ones at the back are all 
always the most favorite. Fun. The one under her armpit is the least favorite. And I've noticed that already these puppies yeah. are like vying for the ones that, like you, the you can see the more aggressive ones are making it to the back and then it's interesting. And why do you think that's so? They're hungrier. <laughs> I can't hear. Instinct. You know the two brothers in and out? <laughs> Instinct? Yes, I think I've told you this before, but you're going to hear it again. <clears throat> they went in the woods one day and they got lost. <clears throat> and I haven't heard this. Two brothers in and out. They went in the woods one day and they got lost. <clears throat> and people were looking for them for the longest time. And out came out of the woods. And they said, oh, oh, we're so glad to see you. Where's in? And he said, I don't know. You haven't found him yet? And they said, no. And he said, well, I'll go find him. Five minutes later, he comes out of the woods with in. And they said, how did you find him so quickly? He said, instincts. <laughs> oh, dear me. No. <clears throat> you, know what, you know what I think a lot of it has to do with? It's, it's warmer back there under her arm, under her leg. Uh, okay. They, they know the, the warm quick. I'm not sure they can, I'm not sure they can distinguish between the teats other than <coughs> it's warm back there. So you think the ones that are attracted to the warmth get, I mean, some of them get heavier because they're drinking out of those faucets more than the other ones. You could maybe assume that, but yeah. <coughs> Genetically, some of them are going to get bigger than others. True. <coughs> I would go for the ones in the back. Absolutely. Obviously. <coughs> All right. Um, no, you don't hear Wanda barking because she is way back there. All right. So we want to make sure we repeat the questions into the mic. So they want to make sure we repeat the questions into the mic. Correct. Correct. All right. Correct. <laughs> Cough. Cough, cough. Is, is Wanda ever going to get to go to Costco? No. <laughs> is Wanda ever going to get to go to Costco? No. No, no. All right. Barb Heist. I posted this on Facebook, and she wants your input on whether this is doable. She was just thinking about how years ago, she had a cassette, she did say years ago, of whale sounds. It was very soothing. With the nursery camp having sound, maybe the puppy sounds can be recorded and put on a CD. Or maybe a streaming service where you can buy and download. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about it. I'm so confused now that... They're just squeaking a lot, too. I'm not sure that it's... I mean, some people might want it because it's cute. It is cute. It's certainly not soothing. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, it's, it's meant to alert, alert mommy that they need some attention somehow. Yeah. Then, you'd have to, then you'd have to block out the, the swear words and things that go along with, you know. You might add to the spice, you know. I suppose, maybe. <clears throat> oh, this is a good one. <laughs> oh, God. No, it's not. The other day, Carleen said she saw five possible Georges in the litter. How do you make that determination? Line luck. I tell you, if anybody asks you if you'd rather be smart or lucky, take lucky because <laughs> smart doesn't always work. <laughs> Dumb luck, is, it'll win every time. Did we take Scarlett's 10th day or what was it? Yes, it's not, a, it's not 102. I just heard it and didn't write it down. <coughs> it should be in the medical chart, but I haven't walked out to the medical chart either. Is Ethel continuing to improve health-wise? Yes. Oh, definitely. She's got an appetite. <laughs> Man. That woman comes pretty soon, too. She's a good girl. Yeah, this week, right? Yeah. I wonder what shape the guest house is in. Scooter Karen says, 
All of her friends that bought me chicken strips for Christmas were very confused when they got those cards in the mail. <laughs> I don't, I mean, I can, I could continue to do that. It's just a, a, mag, a matter of massaging the data. But it, it, it was considerable effort. And the only reason we could do it is we had three days with really nothing to do because we were just waiting for her to fall. Uh, well, whatever. <coughs> I don't know if I can continue or not. Let's find out. We get there. To know, was puppy three, was her name pre chosen, as in if it's a girl, the name will be given, blah, blah, blah? Or was it greenish as the famous curtain scene of Gone with the Wind? Because she was greenish. I didn't understand the question. Puppy, uh, louder, remember, please. Puppy, puppy number three came out like green. I didn't remember that. Yeah, she's still kind of green. Okay. <laughs> so. I think the name Vivian maybe was because in the Gone with the Wind scene, she had that green dress on. I'm supposed to remember all that stuff. I'm not. <laughs> that would probably be a Betsy question. Yeah. She's not. Yeah. yeah. Carol Burnett's dress was much nicer, though, with the curtain rod anyway, so I... <laughs> um, I'm not sure I even ever saw that movie. There's a lot of movies I haven't seen. I'm sorry, but I didn't want to see it, but <laughs> I did see it. <clears throat> Which one I would have kind of seen. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I hope those lamb chops are not cooking more. Are they? The door should be open where it just stay warm. They're going off to a really great life. Exactly. Very rewarding life, too. Yeah. Serving an important purpose. They're probably going to get better care with their future owners than they would from me. Because <laughs> there's so many, but they get individual attention. I mean, you look at George, sound asleep in the hospital bed with a kid. I mean, you know, mm. you might have to sleep on the floor in this house. I did the other night. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, we were supposed to get a couple more Barker beds. Oh, really? It's going to be awkward. I asked for smaller ones. So your feet are going to hang off on the floor. My feet, my feet hung off that one. That's a big I, one. I had my head right up against the couch, and Bailey was sleeping on the couch. And during the middle of the well, the middle of the night, I mean, I, I probably slept about two hours. She rolled over, and her head was right on top of me, and she was... <laughs> well, you know, <clears throat> I don't want to pull a rank at all, but the diagonal is longer than sleeping straight on that thing. You can, you, you fit diagonally. <laughs> Like folding up tinfoil around Kit Kats. Oh yeah, the giant, that's the giant yes. fold. Yes. Yes. That I learned in Britain. Is it advisable to use those suction bulbs on newborn puppies like they use on newborn human babies to clear the airways? I just swing them down. I use gravity. I don't like shoving something in their mouth. They don't do that at the vets. They do. do. Oh, do they? Yeah. I thought you said, didn't they? They swing them also, but um, yeah. I have great faith in gravity. Mm -hmm. I don't want to shove any back in there. I don't know. <clears throat> it just seems to work better. Yes, that's correct. Wanda is back in David's condo. That's correct. And she's doing quite well back there. We probably got them all out on the floor, and she's <laughs> in the top one. <laughs> She holds her own. Don't worry about Wanda. <clears throat> um, did Scarlett finally expel the uh, three afterbirths? I'm not happy with what's come out yet. 
unless she's licked it and we didn't see it and things like that, I I have not seen much come out. Well, Stuff has. Came out of her the other night. Huh? A lot of fluid. That's not, that's not, that doesn't count. No, I know, but, but it, it was quite a bit. Uh, she just I don't know. George is, George is monitoring it. Nursery. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds on in there, guys. <clears throat> of course, that, that nursery camera will pick us up better than this thing. True, true. And they can also, they can mute it, I believe, on here. So. Who? <clears throat> I think they can mute the other microphone on here. I can. Well, they can, too. Who's they? The CP. Oh. Here. <clears throat> okay. Wait a minute. They can turn off the sound on their individual computers. Is that what you're saying? No, on the, on the explore camera view. So if you have the two, the house cam and the nursery cam, I can mute the nursery cam so that you can't hear that. Right. Yeah, you can mute one microphone or the other. Yeah, but she's. In other words, if you click on the icon and pull that window up, it has a sound bar that goes across the Yeah, I, I, I know what you're saying. That. But I've only got one picture at a time. Yeah, but you can switch back to the other. You mute it, switch back to the other one. She put her hands up equally. She said she did it. She said they were too thin. Yeah. I can't do that. Well, you can, yeah, because you can, you can um, split screen. Okay. Yeah, because you can do you the pop-out. Pop out. You can do the pop-out window. That's right. Go ahead. Do a pop out and then open the nursery ones. I was a little uncomfortable with that. Yeah, right. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Well, I, that's what she did it. Oh, yeah. They won't curve. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> this is a family show. We <laughs> tried. If I did, I don't remember. Maybe I had to. It might have been one of those things I was supposed to read in high school. I'm not a great reader. I get inspired and I'll go through a book in two days. But, you know, to be assigned some sort of social study thing I'm supposed to read, uh -uh. none of it stayed in my head. None of it. Rose Dog is commenting on there's so much snow. There must be so much snow piled around the arena that it's taking on rainwater. And we were commenting on the amount of snow before, remember? That yeah, well, the arena is oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's up. Well, it was up eight, eight, ten feet. Yeah. It was up quite a ways. Luckily, there's very heavy metal inside that canvas. Yeah. The teepee the has taken a hit. <laughs> that's not looking too healthy. But that's all right. We'll figure it out. Um, uh, wait a minute. On that water, it's taking on water. I don't think there's water running into the arena. Well, water drips from the Well, that's stuff. fine. That's yeah. just a little bit. Yeah. But I don't think we have any puddles in the I arena. I haven't seen any. I haven't seen any. No, because it's pretty well, it's pretty well graded outside, so the water yeah. out there goes out. Drains away from it. Drains away. <clears throat> but we also did comment that it, it has a plus side that the dogs now can't. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to tell them it's a it's a it's a wonderful building and it, you know it is. and it, you know it, it's held up amazingly, but you know with sixty five Great Danes one of them made a hole in it, they just ate it I, and I don't know if they could put that in their qualifications or not. <laughs> it's blocked up though. It's okay. It's it blocked up with snow right now, so we're all set. All these Florida people are just rubbing it in. Is it snowing or raining here? It's eighty three here today. <laughs> It is about 36 degrees here and raining. It's supposed to rain tonight, and then tomorrow it's going to turn back to snow. Oh, good. Well, I hope he scraped that. Is he going to scrape that walkway over here? He did, yeah. He couldn't get it down very far. Oh, okay. He did scrape it. Well, if you get a little more rain on it, it'll be gone. Yeah. It's sliding down the, sliding down the hill is not fun. 
Well, I mean, well, I don't think they are. they all keepers? They are. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. 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 Bye. Thank you for your help, by the way. Thanks again, Lex. Good job. Take care. Bye. She does a good job. She does a great job. She's, she's how, do we, how do we inherit her? She was doing a, um, she was doing community service for high school. Oh. And she decided that she wanted to just keep coming. Isn't that wonderful? Finished her community service, so she's very good. I'm she's certainly glad. Now. She's doing a great job. Yeah. She's, she's very confident now. She's learned about what she needs to do. Yeah. And when she comes, she just gets right into it. And, and That's she good. Loves to visit with the dogs too, and she's, yeah. she does a great job. She does a great job. We have a lot of really. We, we were talking. Debbie and I were talking about this too. There's, Responsible kids here are amazing, and how good it is for them to be around this. <coughs> and, uh, and it's a whole new atmosphere, and they learn to be responsible, and there's a reason for it. We nag people exactly. only for a reason. You know, when we make laws around here, it's because it's going to work out better that way. And they just learn that that's, you know, that's just the way to go. Yeah. Now, if we could just get that Carlson to do something. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> She's very cheerful. Luckily. <laughs> well, she's sitting in there on that eggplant. No, that's not what I mean. Egg, egg. What the, What do you call that foam that's egg? The bumpy the bumpy foam that's made into sort of egg things. Egg, 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 crate. egg crate foam. Beautiful piece of egg crate foam underneath that, underneath that dog. So it's much more comfortable in there than it's been for a long time. Just received her Shadowbone card. Really brightened up the rainy day. I live in Poughkeepsie, New York, near Newburgh. Oh, yeah. I went to the orthodontist in Poughkeepsie. <laughs> I can't hear what she's saying. She's talking over there. I don't know what she's saying. Somebody did something in Poughkeepsie. I can't. It's an interesting name for a city. Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie. I, if you didn't I, want to keep it, then what would it be? Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie? Poughkeepsie? I don't know. Just saying. That picture That picture of me diving is not very far from Poughkeepsie. The, who? the picture of me diving. Oh, really? Yeah, that's not very far from Poughkeepsie. Route 44 and 55, I think, go across that Poughkeepsie Bridge. See, Newburgh had a ferry boat. And they, there were very few bridges across the across the Hudson when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. You know, you had to go to Poughkeepsie or Bear Mountain to go to cross the river or the ferry boat. If we wanted to cross the river, we had to walk across. Oh, we swam. There were no bridges. Uphill. <laughs> Both ways. <laughs> Oh, it's true. There were a lot less bridges back then. Yeah. yeah. You can really appreciate back in, back in the the olden days when they had horses and buggies and things. How on earth do you get across the river? Except, you know, if people had flotation devices or something, but no bridges. When we went down to Washington, D.C., um, my mother's cousin took us for a little tour, and we went to this place. Um, You'll get to the story here eventually. Here, keep going. Go ahead. Um, it's called White's Ferry. It's on the Maryland-Virginia border. And to cross the river, you have to, there's actually a ferry that's on cables. <laughs> and you drive on, it fits 10 cars. I think it was 10 cars. Huh. You drive onto it, and there's a, there's a wheel on, the, on both sides, and it pulls the ferry across, wow. and then it pulls it back. And there was a building next, because I asked, like, you know, did, does it ever get flooded? Is this current, or is this long ago? This is now. This is this was okay. This current. Ago. Oh yeah. And um, there was a store, like a general store there, and I said, you know, does it ever get flooded? And she said, see the line up there? <laughs> That's the high water line. <laughs> and I was, it was about twenty feet off the ground. I went, oh my god. So anyway. I heard of another one in Vermont just yesterday. I didn't believe it, but there's some state road in Vermont. This is what I was told. 
which ends in a dead end with a, a guy with a, a one-car ferry across Is some small a, stream. I don't doubt that. And he quits at 5 o'clock or something. <laughs> That's what I was told. I, I really kind of wondered about it, but... A friend of mine who had company in England, and his, his company has built the first fiberglass bridge. It's a pedestrian bridge across a river really? around huh. England. Yeah. Hmm. Angel make fruit. Yeah. Does it bring up... Yeah. Yeah. Grace is here. Grace is here. Well, you know, a, a bridge... I'm still on bridges. Okay. <coughs> in Waterville, Maine, there was a two-penny bridge where the factory was on one side and people lived on the other and there was a guy that sat in this tiny little warmed cabin thing and collected two pennies from everybody who walked across the bridge to go to work. Is that right? Yeah. Interesting. Huh. Two pennies. Two penny bridge. Huh. Where was that in Maine? Waterville, Maine. Really? Colby College. Is Noel going to be dating Yellow? <laughs> going to try. We got to start worrying about that. I think probably this week. Yeah, she's. How she's long she? Enough, how long? I don't know. It's up on the wall. When did she come in heat? Three ten. Is that what that says up there? And we're what three fifteen now? Fourteen. Well, kind of. Yeah, this week. <laughs> They'll let us know. They'll begin to howl. says it's meringue that's made from white egg whites. That's true. Why did that come into the conversation? I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe you said something that I missed. I don't know. <clears throat> don't know. <clears throat> okay. Anyway. My mother used to make white mountain frosting. And that was egg whites. And it was good. It was sticky and good. What was it? White mountain frosting. And it was basically egg whites and sugar, and she'd whip it in a, in a double boiler, whip it, whip it, whip it. Kind of oh yeah, it came out real fluffy and stand straight up. It was very good, and the eggs basically kind of cooked in that boiler, but they but they got whipped. It was a very good deal. White mountain devil's food cake with white mountain frosting. Um, oh. I believe you said the dive picture is. Mohonk or Minnewaska Lake, five minutes from Dumpster Kitty's house. Really? Yeah. It's in that area, 44 and 55. It's not near the lake. This probably was a stream that may feed the lake. It's a river, wasn't it? No, a, this, was a, this was a fat stream. There's not much water that I'm diving into, you know? That's <laughs> not much more than about six feet deep. I, when I land, I had to f fend off the rocks. I mean, I, I did not dive down into it. I landed in about that position just so I didn't sink. Wow. But it was fun. <clears throat> I don't think I'd let my children ever do anything like that. Just, there, there are a lot of comments about water on the floor in the arena. There are, there are always a few leaks, and some of it's condensation. Oh, yeah. So not to worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's absolutely oh, the old arena. I can tell you about the old arena. Water used to run in on the donkey side and run out the door by the feed room. And there was a regular stream, so we used to just kind of, you know, the kind of way you, 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 you make the puddles, you play with the puddles and you set yourself. But it used to drain right across there. Now it's, it's flat and, and it's, it's well graded. So it, no, anything in the arena now is coming off the pipes. It, yeah. they, it just gets, there gets a condensation. You can't do anything about that. Yeah. The, the, the arena is not leaking at all. Except for this hole that they ate. <laughs> that's on the bottom. That's, the, that's right about three foot off the ground. Yeah. Well, several years ago, we had, we had a fire at our school, and we have a big yard sale in May. And, of course, we didn't have our gym to have the yard sale in, so we had to rent a huge and enormous tent. Mm -hmm. And the day we had the yard sale was like a month, literally like a monsoon. I mean, it, it was raining so hard, and we had that happen. The water ran in un, inside the tent. We literally had to dig a trench yep. through the tent to let the water through because I, there was so much water. I've, I've had a lot of experience with those <laughs> tent things because I used, to, I used to be stable manager over there at Ann Getchell's 
Groton House horse event where we had things like 500 horses for the weekend for that jumping bit all over her place. And oh, there were a lot of funny stories, but but <laughs> digging trenches is one of them. The another thing is is keeping the, the night watchman from drinking beer up on top of the roof. <laughs> it was another problem we had with those great big tents. Huge tents. I mean, we were hard, we housing. We had 500 horses entered. And probably half of them stayed on the ground at least. It was it was a big deal. It was a, it still is. I think it's, I think it's still I think it's still running. Really? And this was this was way back when Trish, Ann, and I were running around with chainsaws and, and <laughs> dragging <laughs> logs around and things and building jumps. Anne's, Anne's pretty good at that jump building yeah. business. Yeah. And she's got some spectacular jumps there. Hmm. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. But there's a lot of funny, funny stories. <laughs> well, let's hear one. Come on. The, my favorite is, is, the, is the time. It, there was a lot going on. You have, to, you have to realize there was a lot going on. At any rate, Anne decided we ought to have a, a spectator's party on Saturday night because they're... That's what usually what you did when these events and things. Nobody had anything to do Saturday night, so you had a dinner party, etc. Dinner party, you know, but barbecue is what we planned. And uh, so she got Susanna, another horsey friend. Um, Susanna was in charge of boiling these chickens to get ready to pour the barbecue sauce on them and make it look good over the fires at, over at Ann's. And so Susanna spent the day boiling 200 chickens and put them in a garbage bag, the kind that you could see through. So now she... She's walking down the driveway with these 200 gray-looking barbecued ch chickens. And Ann forgot to tell the people to come. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we had a lot of chicken then we had to deal with. <laughs> oh, oh, the, the, next, the next year, everybody came and there, we forgot to buy silverware. Okay, so Wanda's here. All right, Wanda. <coughs> She's a girl. No, I'm out of food. I'm sorry. So, uh, let's see. Where were we? Where did I leave off? Um, <coughs> someone else said D3802 got my Shadowcon card today in Moncton, Maryland. The neighborhood had to hear my woohoos. <laughs> <laughs> I even saved the envelope, a treasure for keeping, at least in our house. That's great. <laughs> um, and well, if I could come up with a volunteer around here to manage, it took a long time to, to run all those things through the embalmer or whatever that thing is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you got to... Then you were an embalmed chicken, too, in one minute. Yeah, you run those things through, and you got to sit there while it diddles with it. It did. It, it was a. It was a big project. But uh, we might be able. I don't know. Who knows? Depends on the. It, somebody else would have to do it because I don't think I could intellectually cope with it again. Well, although in a month or so we'll have another dog having babies. Maybe, maybe, maybe we just start again. I don't know. My grandma taught me how to make the white mountain frosting. It's everyone's favorite. Yeah. <clears throat> um, have you written any books? We would really love to read up on your stories. And someone commented about um, Janine's book. They read it? Uh, Janine's working on another one now. Oh, is he? Well, we talked about that in the car ride. See, that was four hours of Jadine's undivided attention, <laughs> which you don't always get. I mean, usually she comes in here and it's what's in the icebox and she leaves. Um, so we had a long, we had, we had a chance to talk about a lot of things. That's good. I'm going down there. Where do I finish chewing this? <laughs> oh. Chew your food. The first thing. The first thing we had a lot to talk about was the fact that we were going to Granby, Granby, Connecticut. And we both had cell phones. 
and we had a car with a GPS. Now, so we had three sources of how to get to Granby, right? And she kept saying Granbury, which sounded like Danbury. And her phone and the car were giving directions that I knew were wrong. But I, I, I was missing the fact that she was putting an extra syllable in the thing. Oh, okay. We were having, because I knew that wherever we were going was over by, sort of behind that wonderful New York delicatessen there off Route 84, <clears throat> where I used to get all the garlic buckets. There's a wonderful New York delicatessen. Really? North of Hartford on that 84. I think it's exit 65, if I'm not mistaken. But at any rate, uh, I had fortunately looked at the old map business. And I knew that it was over there somewhere, but all three sources of our our technology had us going somewhere else south of Hartford. But you were giving it wrong information. It was damn close. <laughs> <laughs> it was close. We, at any rate, we had a lot of arguments by the time we got there. It took us... It took us a lot less time to get home because I said, look, let's just go up 91 and hit the Bass Pike. And that did it very nicely. We didn't have to go to Hartford at all. <laughs> you know, there again, it, there was a river there. There's a problem. You, you got to find a bridge to get over the damn thing, you know? It's a big one, too, that Connecticut thing. I was always going to float down that in a canoe or something. It's not, it's not rapid or anything, is it? It's hard in places. Is it? But it's a, it's a pretty swift current. It's a strong current. I, I didn't want to paddle. <laughs> I just go to float. <laughs> well, I'm not. I'll take, <laughs> I'll take a bus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, it started when I was in college. A bunch of us, I don't know, maybe we had too much. I don't know. At any rate, uh, we were thinking that it might be possible to do it in a flotation device made of ping pong balls. And we thought maybe we could float down on a bench of ping pong balls. But I thought perhaps a canoe might be better. Yeah, I floated too. I always put ping pong balls around the canoe. Yep. All right. You got nothing? You got nothing? No. We're done. We can have lamb chops now? Thank you, folks. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, the other camera's on still.